Hello friend, it's Boris here and today it's time for the recap from the qualifier slash tournament with a $65,000 prize pool against the best uh, Xbox players in the world. In Europe we had over 600 players uh, playing here and with the six spots here to the main broadcast which will be later on in December. So yeah, six out of 600 something. Of course, uh, very hard to make it. It's a straight bracket. If you lose, you go to the loser bracket and if you lose there, you're out. So only two chances, only one extra life. And this was our team as well. Restrictions having of course one icon over 88, the one under keeper doesn't count. And then you can only have two players rated over 90 that are not iconic players. So we have here Neymar and Mbappé. And then two players between 87 and 89, Kanté and Son. And the rest must be under 86 rating. Which you can see here in the back line with uh, Gomez, uh, red pick in form ish, and also, of course, Varan, Mondi, and Walker, a very nice team, a very meta team. And also, we played here mainly this tournament at uh, a 40 to 1, looking like this with uh, these tactics, uh, quite uh, high line, and also here with on six, and then Elsevier striker, uh, Neymar Cam, and Son MLP on the wings with MLP on the right side for the early crosses with RB, and also, of course, for the four pull shots. I think that is more useful than to cut in and take some finesse shots. Then the Kanté Blanc on the midfield and a striker drift wide getting behind. We are here for the central cam, come back on defense. And for the wingers here, get into the box for crosses. And then for CDMs, cut passing lanes, the cover center, and stay back for both. And stay back for the fullbacks as well. Alright, the first out here we had uh, the Spanish player Ricard from Dux Gaming. A great team as well with Hurit and Vera. This was round two, first round we had actually a buy because of uh, quite high seeding. We're also going to get here the first chance MRP, but uh, he's going to miss the target. Otherwise, uh, this one uh, was going in and not uh, really that many chances. But we're going to use here our lovely trick. First time fake shot that works also against the best players in the world, especially when the ping is a bit higher. Uh, this is very hard to defend. Uh, just cutting in here and uh, scoring 2-0. He will actually respond uh, low cross, he has uh, Cristiano in the box, we try to block this mainly but we cannot get there simply and he gets uh, one back. And here we have uh, Elsebio, nice uh, left stick dribbling on the wing, finding here Mbappé, left stick again and uh, finesse finish 3-1. And here I thought it was over but this guy had uh, really some nice skills in his locker also with a step over. It is great, as we know, 3-2. And this is one of the best goals I've ever seen. Look at this. Uh, half drive back into Elastico and then... Cancelled fake shot. Unreal. And, uh, well, he's gonna score this uh, just fantastic goal. And is now all even Steven with the 3-3. Get here also a good chance, but we're gonna miss the target. The not the best shot with Eusebio's uh, weak foot. Uh, so this is gonna go maybe down to extra time. We're playing here best of two every matchup, but LCB strikes. So nice to have that, the faster weak foot in the box. And we get the win as well. Moving on to round three of the winner bracket against uh, Anne Rasek, one of the best players in the world. The tough matchup indeed. And here also with R9 and Vieira. But we also had a best start here. Uh, Son trying from the wing, hoping to get that rebound actually. But it's a good save from Ederson. And here uh, the cross to Cristiano, and this is actually complete BS. How can he not defend this? Just going straight through him. I cannot clear the ball. And he scores for 1-0. But we created plenty of chances here in uh, first half. Uh, this is from El Cibio. Nice left stick turns, but Ederson for him was great. This first half. And instead, love the pass. Good one and R9 scores. He's, gonna, he, he's always going to score these chances. And 2-0. What about uh, this one then? We have a tactical fake shot stop. Nice turns as well, and we find a very good goal to 2-1, contact again in the game. And straight after this, momentum is on our side, Son cannot hit the target, almost 2-2. But uh, Rasek, what a player, he has so good vision, he sees every, every pass, every space. And he scores a 3-1, and then in the 91st minute, again, his vision is sick. And he scores 4-1, this was a bit of a bummer, but we get uh, though a very good start here of the second leg, we're playing again, best of two, great pass from Son, he has a very good passing, good finish as well, and there is contact now, and plenty of time left. Uh, what about this one, and what a pass, but <laughs> Van der Saad, not the most uh, convincing save, but he still save it. And then uh, we're gonna clear the ball, but this is not a good pass, what am I doing here, a big blunder, and unfortunately, 
uh, against a player of this level you cannot make these mistakes. Uh, five, two, and after this we're really gonna lose um, uh, the energy and he scores even here. Six, two, we're gonna get the door one back, but the final score was uh, six, three to him in the end. In this best of two. So now we move on to the loser bracket and this is a bit hard now because you have to win a lot of games uh, to make it through. You have to play a lot of extra games if you make it here to the loser bracket. And this first game was a very boring one. Uh, his only tactic was to keep the ball. And you can see here that he had nothing but possession. And first big chance will come after 85 minutes. Sekantia is gonna pass it and El Cibio. So nice goal, we find the opener. And now from here on, this guy must go forward. Last attack of the game, and what about this one? Good defending from Gomez. He was good this weekend. It's Red Gomez, and we get the win in this first game out of two. But the next one, though. Uh, first big chance that uh, these games uh, were very defensive. Um, in 49th minute, the Neymar just gonna fake shot through me and he scores into 1 1. This is now tense because this is do or die. If you lose this, you're out of the tournament. I don't want to lose this early because then you're gonna really, well, not get uh, that many pro points simply that you would need here in this um, uh, structure where every tournament counts. And this was not good either, this is going to be offside and there well 90 minutes now on the clock, moving towards extra time. But one last chance, El Cibio, can you time this pass? Yes! What about now, plenty of space in the box, Son just waiting for this pass, trying to shoot but of course it's going to be blocked. But we have the flicking, the juggling, Mbappé, shoot, pass, pass! It's a goal! In terrible circumstances, you can see also how this celebration looked. Uh, we get it and we are still in the tournament. The next up we have uh, Italian guy here Twitch uh, Digiani with R9. Vieira as well a really good team also that uh, record breaker Mbappé But this game though was uh, very one-sided. We're gonna get here the best start also nice touch from LCB in the box He can go both ways of course one nil and shortly after this a failed offside trap uh, two nil I'm just gonna continue here uh, minute 37, we have the first time fake shot, this is a bit lucky for us, but we just take it. We have 3-0, and also here before uh, the end of this uh, first half, uh, good work from MRP, a great fake shot as well. Uh, with that uh, running fake shot, and we have 4-0, and as well, this is all in the first game, we're gonna end this in a very nice way, a good, a good attack simply. With some nice passing, in the end, fighting Neymar, and just uh, great here with the drive back, still of course viable. After this, uh, both sides uh, switched off, but it ended, I think, 6 0. Next up, we have uh, V Pro Chunk here uh, with uh, Rule Breaker Popa, Cristiano Neymar, and uh, Maximon as well. I see that in form. This guy had the best start as well. This was uh, unfortunate for us uh, onside. Popa textbook there with the ball roll. Good finish. And also, here, uh, this guy was the best killer I ever faced. He had so many different skill moves, so much. Variation in, in his skill simply and this though uh, Verhan is gonna lose that header against Neymar Maybe not what you want to see but 2-0 to him. We have the bridge on the wing and good stuff a 2-1 contact is there We're back in it But at the start of this uh, second half uh, he's just gonna do this uh, lovely stuff and 3-1 and we are about to lose this uh, but it's gonna get even worse for us unfortunately here He's gonna score 4-1, 91st minute is really not nice conceding these goals in the last minute. But also we're gonna change here game 2 to a 4-4-2 instead. Uh, trying out uh, something else as the 43-1 was not working here for us in the first game. Also changing up here the instructions as well. You can see here that we are playing uh, this time uh, the sentiments unbalanced and also fullbacks unbalanced as well. And tactics we're just gonna make a small change here to pressure on heavy touch and a bit higher depth as the more players uh, running forward and uh, good start here for us Neymar good skills but how can he miss the target how can he miss the target I cannot believe my eyes really and uh, we were not uh, that fortunate in this game he's gonna score from this a tough angle 5-1 and now it's starting to get really tough we're gonna lose the ball again here Kanté on the midfield sometimes of course not the best on the ball and he is now two against one. We tried to do something, but this guy again was a crazy skiller. Fantastic stuff. And is now 6 1. And from here, we're just trying to save some dignity, try to save some honor, and uh, well, end this with a flag waving high. And uh, here's a chance, maybe something. Uh, can he, can you find it? Yes, it is onside. A failed offside trap, and there's okay. 6 2, but still 
Uh, very hard to make any kind of comeback. Unless we start scoring some quick goals. We have now 3-6. Some quick ones. And after this uh, blow here. Can he find something looking for Eusebio? Opens up the first time fake shot. Maybe something here. We have 3-6. But we never ever give up. We're always going to play until that uh, final whistle. Until the fat lady sings. And she simply hadn't uh, sung yet. Uh, what about this one? MAP. Good stuff. And now this is getting real. 5-6. About to do here a real crazy comeback, but after this though, we did not really create that much. And he also started to really slow this uh, tempo down to, well, uh, try to minimize the chance creation in this game. Of course, a very smart move. And here he had a chance to go for that uh, final dagger in the heart. The Cristiano, great skills again. And a bit uh, lucky for him, but a good save from Van der Sar. One of very few saves of him this weekend. And now we must score. Minute 91. Can we complete this comeback? Yes, we can from 1-6 down. Unreal scenes. We're still in the tournament. And this goes now to extra time. From 1-6 down to 6-6. These scenes are unreal. Can we continue? Neymar. And what's he going to do? 7-6. 7-6. Never freaking give up. And what about this? Can we end this? The final nail in the goddamn coffin. Yes. 8-6. With the roulette. This is some absolute unreal scenes. Unreal scenes, one of the greatest comebacks maybe in the FIFA scene, but uh, wait, it is not over yet, man. Oops. We started to maybe celebrate this a bit too early. We have 8-7, and now please do not bottle this, Boris. Do not bottle this. That was close. But he's still gonna get the one more last chance. What about this? We must stop this. We're gonna here track this run manually with the uh, center back. And finally, in the end, a nice clearance. And that is about it. Uh, crazy comeback it completed in the end. And we're gonna move on to the next round. Still in this tournament and very important for these pro points, which I will show you later how this uh, structure works. Next up, we have a Swedish player, Berglind Åsa, playing for Jur Gordon, a great guy and a great player as well. A strong midfield here with the Vera and Hurit. He went for, t uh, for these two icons. Uh, Cristiano here with some nice skills. Lovely. Stop it, pop it, and Croqueta. That is maybe too easy. We maybe could have done a bit better, but uh, also a bit anticlimax from that the previous game after that the nice comeback. But what about this now? Cantia. One of very few goals from him. We get one back to 1 1. And here also we're going to find a space on the wing. Uh, El Cebio. And we have uh, some movement here in the box. Uh, can we find maybe something? Neymar cuts in, we see this, and R1 cross, low cross, we have now 2-1, a nice comeback again, and now you're going to see the prime moments of the bridge, look at this, it goes so quickly and it works against all types of players because it's so, so powerful, and maybe it actually deserves to get nerfed as well, so now though, 4-1, first time fake shot, the so now with the brace, but yes, cut it, and the game is still alive because of the power of cut it. So game number two, what about uh, this one now? We need a good start, Eusebio, nice with the left stick and we find the important opening goal. And now we have a second half as well. Uh, this uh, game is starting to run out of uh, his hands, really time is uh, running out and we just need here one last goal to secure this win. And it's a nice one, 6-2, in the end it finished with the 7-4 but we uh, switched off after this of course. A nice, nice win. Then we have top player from UK, Jazz. You see that the ping was not the best, but it's the same for both players here. Round 9 in the loser bracket, uh, R9 again. You see him plenty of times in these matchups. And uh, Blanc and Pogba on the midfield also there with uh, Alessandrini. He actually made him, he was fresh here for him because this was on Sunday. And he came out on Saturday night. What happened here though, I have no clue. And he's going to get the best start, Neymar, no mistakes. But a nice steal here from Kanté. And we're trying to find something going forward. Can we time this pass? We have Neymar instead on a nice run. And waiting for the keeper movement. Uh, firing near post. A good finish. But Edison though, he's so quick, man. You can see that he, he's moving almost like it is uh, FIFA 19. But this is a good goal, though. He's uh, really good at finding these passes. 2-1. But again, Kanté with a big steal. Nice interception. And can we find something more now? Back to... Kanté and again Neymar just pretty much the same as this uh, first the goal and near post again and looking at that the keeper movement. So we have uh, game number two first uh, ended with the 2-2 and then we get here a big opening and scoring a simple goal. Uh, Could have done better here surely and, and tracking this run 
uh, because that was very obvious that he was going to pass it back to O9. But it was also the first game of uh, Sunday morning and we played the uh, qualifier Saturday and Sunday and we played up to round uh, 8 on Saturday. So this was the first round of the day and both players a, a bit cold of course but this is unfortunate what happens here. The power of R9 and 4-2. And after this we need to find a goal now to really get this contact back. What about this? Maybe pass it back to Eusebio but it's into the block. It's still 4-2. And then we had the 45th minute, or 9 just uh, stepping forward with the step overs and a nice goal, 5-2 and from here it's going to be hard but remember that we had that comeback in our locker and we never give up and we are pretty much uh, never counted out either, even though 6-2 is going to be hard. Chance here we must score soon, but Jazz defended this one well. But there's still maybe time for something, what about this one, we had a first time fake shot, 6-3, uh, maybe some contact. But after this we're not really gonna create much and we're gonna lose this game with the 6-3. Alright, that was actually not bad and a crazy comeback as well. We finished the top 64 out of over 600 players and this is without any pro practice. I mean at the moment I'm not signed by any team. My main focus is to stream and do daily content. So yes, at the moment I'm actually a bit more of a content creator. And I just wonder what I could achieve here with an even better team and even more pro versus pro practice but this was for me a nice confidence boost uh, still of course showing that I'm up there among the best players in the world and I'm just gonna keep on grinding and hopefully do even better in the next uh, qualifier and from this we made actually 180 pro points you can see here top uh, 64 and this is gonna be one tournament out of I think uh, six the next one is in January and all building up uh, towards the playoffs uh, where top 64 players qualify so you gotta be consistent and we're just gonna keep on grinding and try to do even better here in the next qualifier to secure that the top 64 spot. But that's it for today guys, tomorrow we're back with a road to glory in the pack opening from Elite 1. Don't miss that, see you then, thanks so much for watching, as always you know, until next time, take care.